Hello, here we are again with another story of investigations from your retired private investigator. This one I called uh, Texas Misidentification. I was retained to uh, locate a young child in Texas. We had a post office box number where the other parent had taken the child. She took the child without consent. There was a separation and she was only allowed uh, visitation rights, supervised visitation rights. Well, somehow she was able to obtain the child and ran off to Texas. We had a post office box number. So how we accomplished this was we turned around and come up with a plan. I went out to Texas I purchased uh, one of these manila envelopes, large manila envelopes, a fluorescent colored manila, manila envelope, and painted black, thick black stripes on the envelope so it would be noticeable from a distance. And I waited at that post office, where the post office box was, waited till the uh, subject would come out. I didn't know how many days I'd be there. Well, it wasn't there long, it was there one day. I had flown out there and I had set up my surveillance and I waited and sure enough, uh, later on that morning, out comes this female with this mailer envelope in her hand with the black lines, which I knew was the one I sent anyhow. There was really nothing in it, but it was okay for me to, that I was able to spot it. When she got in a vehicle, I had that also. I then proceeded to tail her at a, an, at a distance, but keeping her in sight at all times. I was able to follow her all the way to her, her place, of where she had the uh, child. I had gone by, made several passes. I did eventually see the child outside, which I had a picture of the child, which the husband had given me. So now I figured, well, we have to set up to remove the child, which would be uh, a little tricky because I would have to call the father up to fly out to Houston to meet me because I could not take possession of the child that would be kidnapping. But with the father taking the child, that's not kidnapping. It's his child. So the plan was set in, in motion. In the meantime, I had changed motels a couple of times. Unbeknown to me, this woman had a boyfriend that was a convict, and he had escaped. The next thing I know, I'm in my hotel room, and there's a knock on the door, and I asked who was it, and they said the police. Well, I had a little chain lock on the door. And opening the door, there's like four revolvers that are sticking there. Barrels through the door. Wanted me to open up. So I told them I had the chain on. They pulled the guns out. I, I opened the door and I dove for the floor and laid on the floor. And I felt some six barrels on my back from these police officers all around me. And they kept referring to me as in another name. And I said, you know, that's not my name. I told them what my name was. And they were saying, no, it wasn't. And they had a U.S. Marshal coming down to identify the individual, which was quite strange. I turned around and I asked them if I could get up and put my uh, pants on. I did so. And in doing so, I, um, I waited a short while and came to U.S. Marshal and he told them no, that I was not that individual and they were all apologetic and this and that and whatnot. It did create an awful lot of problems. I never did tell them what I was doing there though. So now uh, I have some other stories that I will be telling you things that happen some that it is down the road. So you all have a good day and
good day to you all.